Crystal, I am having second thoughts, but not the way you think. Hey, hey, listen to, listen to me. I want this. You do? Yes. I do. Listen, I just want to make sure that we do this right, okay? That there's no questions or doubts or second guessing on either one of our And parts. how do you propose we do that? By taking it slow. I know, it sounds simple, and I understand that it actually works, okay? Yeah, that's, you know? that's what they say. Yeah. Look, I just... I want to give us a chance, you know? A chance to explore, a chance to explore each other, where this might end up. Yeah. Yeah, I know, we did kind of get a little carried away. Yeah, I bit. really, really liked it. Okay, I just... But you think this is a good idea, right? I mean, take Jack, that slow. Jack, I couldn't agree more. Yeah? Uh, yes, yes. Good, okay. No, that, that's, why I, that's why I pulled back, that's why I checked in with you. I want... I want this to be right, just as much as you do. Okay, well, Miss Carey, it looks like you and I are once again on the same page. Yes, we are. Counselor. Mm. 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 Love when you say counselor like that. <laughs> Excuse me, door is open. Eric is in trouble. Any chance you might tell me what's going on? Sometime in this century? You're not nervous, are you, Erica? I'd just like to be informed. Because with the life that you led, you found yourself in a perilous situation or two. Or 20. Tell me about them. The more recent ones that weren't in your books. Where were you? With whom? Why all the questions? I thought you said you know everything there is to know about me. Not everything. Let's see. The last time you were in danger was on that mountain with Caleb Cortland. I don't want to talk about this. I don't care what you don't want to talk about. Tell me. No, and no more Q&A. If you're going to kill me, then just do it already. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Haven't you figured it out by now? Your existence makes life worth living. Who are you? All right, then just tell me. If killing me is not your plan, then what is? If Kendall's son is really as smart as you say, your family's already onto us. Knows that you didn't bail on your wedding like you claimed, but are actually in legitimate danger which means they're most likely mobilizing forces. Then let me go. They will be easier on you then. Or I can ask for ransom. Ransom? Now? Why would you go to all this trouble to, to recreate my room and, and to collect my things? I mean, if you wanted money, why didn't you just say so in the beginning? This could have been over weeks ago. Oh. Don't worry. It's not about to be over yet. And Erica said those exact words, that she's in danger. Yep. According to Spike. Did she say anything else? Well, according to Spike, she's here in Pine Valley. I don't recognize this number. I don't recognize... Look, is Spike sure that it was Erica he was talking to? Yeah, he seemed pretty sure to me. Not to Bianca. I'm calling the police. Hey, look, let me let me do that, all right? Let me help. I'll, I'll see if they can get a trace going on that call. She had to be calling from somewhere, right? Unless you don't want me to help. I mean, I, no, that's fine. I, 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 I understand. I'd like you to do that. We can use all the help we can get. Thank you. Okay. Let me check, see if she sent an email. Look, Jack, why don't we just go through the house again, see if there are any clues. All right, all right good, good. Why, why, why don't you take the den? I'll start out here, okay? Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Hi. Hi. Good to meet you. Is Caleb here? 
Yeah, he's in the den right now. Oh, did, did Mom call again? No. Damn it, if I only had my phone, if I'd answered my phone. Oh, I was only a few feet away when Spike was talking to her. Now, what if we don't find her? No, we're going to find her. Bianca, we're going to find her, OK? When she came back to this house, if she was in any kind of trouble, she would leave us a clue. You know that. Wait, what if it wasn't her? What the hell are you talking about? Here. Well, we've just been assuming that it was her who came to get her clothes. What if it was someone else? Oh. God, I'm going to call the police. No, no that's, that's being taken care of. Crystal's calling them right now. Well, I, I will call the police in St. Bart's then. All right, do that. And then, and then look around down here. Check around down here. I'm going to head up to okay. This is Bianca Montgomery. I need to be connected to the police department, please. Thank you. I, uh, got them to trace the calls. What's going on out there? Have them bring it here to the court, understand? Damn it! Turn it off! Quarry. Please leave Miss Kane so she can go over her script. free to paraphrase with no little clues just make sure to hit the important points namely bring the money and no cops when you're finished and i'm satisfied i'll email it out to your family and then what my family pays the ransom and, and i'm free something like that are you ready well I, i'll need a few minutes what for all you have to do is read I never go on camera until my, my hair and makeup are absolutely perfect. You should know that. Fine. But make it quick. We're running out of time. Thank you for your concern, but I can handle this one. All right. I'll be over there if you need me. So, uh, you got tired of raising hell alone? Conspiring with Satan himself now, huh? Jesse, I am not the monster that you think I am. I think? You accused me of rape, Liza, remember that? <laughs> school. Jesse, I've apologized. Uh, are you ever going to let that go? It, I'm just saying. Same old tricks <laughs> as back then, huh? I mean, anything to get what you want. It was Greg then, now it's holding on to your precious job. Most people grow up, Liza, better than themselves. Yeah. Not you. What's up with that? I don't really have to deal with this. You don't have to deal with much, do you? <laughs> no friends, except Dr. 666 over there. No family to speak of that wants to be associated with you anyway. So what's the plan? Alienate the entire <laughs> town, including your daughter? Because if that is the plan, you knocked it okay, right out of the you park, just Liza. Stop it. You can say whatever you want about me, Jesse, but don't you dare pretend to know what's going on with Colby. You have no idea what it's like to lose a child. Madison! Madison! Thank you. 
means nothing to you. Oh, do you want me to pretend it does? I mean, there's no reason to play nice anymore. Ryan knows everything. You don't have anything to hold over my head anymore. Uh, see, that's the thing that you still don't understand. I was never holding anything over your head. No. No, that would ruin your sweet little innocent act. You kept your arsenal well hidden. What is my arsenal? Your lies? You should be thanking me for my lies right now. Are you kidding me? No, not at all. I did you a favor pulling Scott out of prison and having, having him go knock on your door. Otherwise, where would you be? Alone and feeling sorry for yourself, nose pressed against the glass, watching me and Ryan happy and in love. Is that where you are now? Happy and in love. We will always be in love. And we will be happy again soon enough. And that's gonna make it that much harder for you when you realize you weren't enough to keep him, even with the baby. So go, be with Scott. He's the best you're gonna get. Hey.